Embed YouTube Videos. I'm Trina Laurie. Why embed YouTube videos? Well, you can share your videos for meetings and trainings. You can share Trainer Lori videos during trainings. It starts when you're at the YouTube site or any other site that allows you to share. Make sure you choose the video and then choose the share. When you're in share, then there's an option for embed. Click that and it will show code, but make sure that you use the old embed code. PowerPoint needs the old embed code. If you don't see that option, you won't be able to embed it, and that option might not be available if it's a high def or a brand new style of video. It might look like. It's a lot of, of code, but it's, it's easy to change if you need to. Now that we have the code, we go to PowerPoint, we go to Insert, Video, Video from Website, and there's a box that appears where you can paste the text. When you do that, you can either edit it or you can click Insert. It will look something like this. Okay. One of the things you might notice is that there's a zero next to it, and that zero means that it is animated. That means that it will um, play upon click. You must click for it to play. If you can't play it, you might have a security warning. So look for a security warning and enable the content so you can actually see it. Also, if you go to hit play and it doesn't play, you might get this message that says to play the selected item, you must install a later version of the Adobe Flash Player. And uh, you can just click web help and it'll take you right to the Adobe site to download that Flash Player. So we're back to ready to play. And when you play it, uh, you'll be able to see an, an image. If you look at your video tools, you have format and playback. Under Format, you will have those options, and all that is covered in another class that I have called PowerPoint 2010 Audio and Video Editing. Your playback tools, most of those are gone. Only play and start automatically and hide while not playing and rewind after playing. Those are the only ones that are available. So what can I do if I want to trim the video? To edit the code, you want to look for the word value. Notice it has a, a quotation mark, and then it, before the second set of quotation marks is where you want to insert your cursor to make any editing changes. The first one is to trim the embed. So let's say I want it to start at a certain spot, in this case at 3 minutes and 29 seconds, and I want it to end after so many seconds. The reason that I have ampersand start equal 209 is because 209 seconds is 3 minutes and 29 seconds. 3 minutes times 60 plus the 29 seconds. So that would be the starting point. And then use ampersand, which is also called the and symbol, and then the word end equals 238. So it's going to play for just those few seconds. Now you don't have to put an ending in. You can just have the start, or you can just have the end without the start if you want it to start at the beginning. So you can play with that, but you can um, make, make your changes. The next one is autoplay. I don't want to have to click the button. I don't want to have to click the start button. So I go again to value and then after the uh, first quote and just before the second quote, we would put in semicolon autoplay equals one. One meaning yes, I want it to autoplay. And when you do that, as soon as you start it, it will start playing. In other words, as soon as you get on that slide, the video will start playing. I like that option when you uh, are using somebody else's computer and you're not sure that uh, you're going to have the mouse, or you're nervous and you don't know how to find the, the start button. When you're ready to play it or save it, you go to File, and you'll see Optimize Media Capability, and it says that one media file requires a network connection. So keep that in mind. If you do not have a network connection, you will not be able to show this video. If you want to save it and play it, uh, save it as a video, then you might have some issues as well. It will say some of the media cannot be included in the video. Uh, so what you would have to do then is to convert the presentation or optimize the compatibility. Well, neither of those is going to work because it's um, embedded. That means it's going to link to the actual YouTube. Another good option is another program that you would have to download on your own. It doesn't cost anything. It's called YouTube Downloader HD, and it allows you to download YouTube video, and then you can just insert it as a regular video. So that might be a good option if you're not sure that you're actually going to have uh, the ability to uh, have internet connection. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please click like, and we'll see you next time.